Hey guys, welcome to today's Thrift Hunter vlog. So, right now I'm doing something pretty meta. I'm adding subtitles to the uh, video from yesterday. So you can see over here that I'm adding subtitles to yesterday's video, which if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you watch it. It's, uh, it's titled, I met the real life initially Takumi Fujiwara, not clickbait, because that's exactly what happened, it's exactly what it sounds like, and it's pretty crazy. I highly recommend you check it out, and hopefully by the time you watch this video, I've already finished the uh, subtitles. Just finished the title for the new behind the scenes daily vlog video which if you haven't seen it yet is already up on the channel it's freaking crazy check it out so today uh, there's a little article on Kotaku kotaku.com about Drift Hunter check it out that's like the entire thing hey guys so I'm back home I'm editing right now I want to show you something really really cool right now I'm actually watching the initial D live action movie while editing and look at this so in the previous video uh, the previous vlog uh, with with uh, Jun so he showed me this thing which is basically like a like a wind chime right this is it it's the same thing right there so that's the exact same thing in real life so I'm watching the live action initial D movie and it's totally different in the way it depicts the characters. What do you guys think? I actually don't mind it too much. I think it's it's interesting that they took some creative liberties. But overall, it would have been nice if they stuck with the story a bit, a bit more, a bit more closely. But I don't think it's too bad. Uh, what's cool is that all the places are the same places in real life, for the most part. Like this scene is really in in a Mount Harana. So if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out. Morning guys, I actually fell asleep while watching Initial D last night, uh, the movie. And um, so I'm awake again and I'm editing, the video I'm editing right now is the Instagram live of when I went out driving with uh, Fujinoki-san. So hopefully I'll get that out today. And I figured I'll show you guys some interesting stuff here in, in uh, the studio background. So you can see what it finally looks like up close. So over here is the Hackintosh that I built and this is what I edit on. I don't edit on a MacBook or a Mac Pro. Um, problem with the Mac, with the Hackintosh is that it's it's pretty finicky, so stuff always breaks and, and doesn't work properly. But right now it's working okay. Uh, what else? There's like maybe like six gigs or five. Let's see, three, one point five, another one. So maybe almost six gigabytes of, of uh, hard drive space. Uh, none of it is in RAID though, so if any one of them dies, it's it would be bad. Um, let's see, this is from Lost Royalty, uh, Birdie gave it to me, that was pretty cool, and over here, Lost Royalty, the sticker, it's also from uh, Birdie, King's Must Rise channel. Uh, this is from um, a brand called Not Fast, and uh, so these are the guys that make my stickers, actually, and you can check them out on Instagram at Not Fast. What else? This is actually from a box of cookies, Initial D cookies. So I thought it was a really cool picture I put up here. This is a little subscribe thing that one of my students made for me actually, same as uh, that thing down there, I'll show you guys in a sec. This is a YouTube cookie, which I got from YouTube Tokyo. Uh, let's see, this is a little jet program tote bag that I got when I first came to Japan, uh, geez, way back in 2010. Uh, right here, this is my first YouTube um, like Google check thing so that's kind of special these swords I got this sword from a friend who did Giaido which is the, the art of drawing and doing a slice and put, putting the sword back in this sword is interesting actually because I got this sword from a school that I was teaching at when I left the school they gave me a sword because Japan uh, over up here there's a few drift hunter stickers I need to put pins on this side as well so these are the three current variations of the drift hunter stickers which one do you guys like best let me know in the comments i'll make more of those um this hat support violent driving hat by hardcore tokyo it's a really cool i love i love their logo and then mine's over here drift hunter so these hats are actually really really nice really good quality uh, they're dad hats, so you know those are all all the rage right now. They're really in style, 
and the quality is really good. You can check them out in the store. They come in like four or five or six different colors, I forget. And I love how, how clean the, the, uh, in, the uh, what's it called? Um, embroidery is. All right, over here. So these are really special, actually. So I got these from my friend who, Teshima-san, who is actually the designer of the GC8. Incredible, incredible story. I, I just randomly met him or I was introduced to him by the owner of my favorite hamburger shop. And I did a video with him a couple months ago. I'm still working on it. And so this is, uh, these are his designs from when he was still working on the car. It's such an incredible story and it's, it really ties all, everything together, like the, the whole initial D world and I'll, I'll tell you guys the story soon. All right, um, let's move this camera over here. So this subscribe thing, like I said, it's made by one of my students. He's like 11 years old. His dream is to become a YouTuber as well. And I think basically he just printed this out and stuck it to a piece of, of uh, plywood. But it looks really cool. I like it. It's the effort. And over here, we have the Drift Hunter Museum. First up here are more initial D cookies. I think there's still some inside. And Totoro. Over here. Let's see. So this amazing helmet I got from, from a fan of Drift Hunter, actually. So he, he sent it to me. <laughs> from America and it's very expensive, very professional and looks really cool. I'm super happy and I stuck a sticker on it so it turned out pretty well. I've got uh, another lens and a GoPro in here. Over here this is the real tofu packaging that I got from Fujinoki-san and you can see down here it's from Fuji no ya tofu ten. All right, so that that's the real name of the tofu shop, and it's in Shibukawa City. And over here, we've got the full collection of Initial D Tommy cars, plus this GC8, which is actually not part of the set. But yeah, you have the A86, the S13, Ikitani S13. This one really looks like uh, Bunta's GC8, so I put that there. Um, and then you have the uh, white Red Suns FC and the yellow FD and of course the um, the other R32 from the from the Night Kids. This though is my favorite. Like this one is the Auto Art, uh, what's it called, RX7, which I got as a present, and it's incredibly detailed, very very beautiful, pretty expensive. And over down here, let's see. This is the original steering wheel from or one of the, one of my steering wheels from my previous Miata. I really like it, so I just kept it. And over here is like my little collection of uh, roaster Tommy cars. I try to make, I try to make a, uh, what, the, I made this myself, but like I'm really bad at making models, so it looks like looks like crap. But from far away, it looks decent. And down here, there's just a couple of Gundams. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this little tour. And of course, camera. You guys are wondering what gear I, I mostly shoot with. So this is a Joby Gorilla Pod on top of a let's see. Um, geez, I can't remember. Oh, here we go. A Velbon ball head with a Hakuba Quick Release. And the camera is, is the A7S with a 28mm f2 and the video micro, um, what's it called, mic. So pretty good, um, it does the trick, the camera is really good, I'm actually not that great at even using it, but yep, so that's just a quick behind the scenes look, oh yeah, this is pretty cool too. So this is, yeah, some backlighting bought that from Amazon. I need to fix that up there. It's just like tape in the back. Whatever, I'll fix that later. Okay, well, no well, last thing I guess. This is this mug from Bee's Racing Garage. And um, what else? 
SKX007. Occasionally I get questions from people asking me what kind of watch I wear. Great watch. And if you want to know what Drifter, Drift Hunter Albo smells like, he smells like Truth by Calvin Klein. <laughs> all right, all right, gonna go back to editing. Okay, for today's quick Japanese lesson, I'll teach you a few weather words. So today is very mushi atsui. So mushi means humid and atsui means hot. So if you want to make that into a sentence, you would say kyo wa atsui. That means today is hot. Kyo is today and wa is like almost like a connecting word. I'll explain in a, in a, in a future video uh, how these particles work. But uh, today is especially muggy, very muggy, cloudy day. So you would just say kyo wa sugoi mushi atsui which means today is really, really hot and uh, humid. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, today's quick vlog. And um, yeah, keep watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications. And really watch some of the previous videos if you haven't seen all of them yet. I think you'll really enjoy them. So thank you again so much for your support. Especially thank you guys on Patreon who are making these episodes possible and uh, supporting what I do. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.